I can't do grilled chicken, brown rice, and broccoli all the time. Who wants to eat that? Outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas round me, I and a guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Today is another meal prep video. First of all, thank you so much to those of you who purchased my meal plan. I have posted my four week meal plan and I will also link it to this video. Um, I posted it to my last meal prep video. For those of you who have purchased it, I would really like your feedback. Please give me your feedback so that I can know to improve things, um, change things around. Um, and if you have any questions or need any help with anything, if I wasn't clear or clarified. Um, so you guys can get the four week meal plan, volume one. It has two breakfast options, two lunch, two dinner, two snacks. Everything that I do on my meal prep videos, it, it'll be, it's a four week, like you have four weeks of meals. I have volume one, I will be releasing volume two in a couple weeks. And those recipes or meal ideas will not be what is in volume one. If you guys have any questions surrounding the four week meal plan, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. So it is Sunday, beautiful Sunday. It is 10 a.m. Um, I'm gonna grab some groceries real quick. I need to do a couple errands. Yeah, and I'm not gonna do too much talking. I will cook with you guys later on in the video. Let's get to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick fit check before I head out. So I have on this cute onesie from Amazon. I have these Ugg dupes from Amazon. My scarf is also, go figure, from Amazon. Um, I love to pair trench coats with casual outfits. I actually got this coat from Fashion Nova. Um, I got my necklaces from Amazon as well. I've had them for about a year and they've held up pretty well. Um, and I got this vegan leather purse from a brand called Simbono. I actually have a discount code for you guys in the description if you are interested. So even in like 30 degree weather, I'm gonna get me a bowl. I haven't had one of these in so long, y'all. Oh, it's heaven. Okay, the way the girl packed this bowl, she should be fired. But it's good though. Cute or not. I got an acai bowl with strawberries, blueberries, banana, granola. Half of it is pataya, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and coconut flakes. Now, she packed this bowl way too full, and I would have eaten it in there, but I couldn't find a parking spot, so I'm illegally parked. And then, there was a lot of people in there. You would think for it to be wintertime, it wouldn't be a lot of people in there, but it was. This is my first time having it with the pataya on it. So I had to eat some of it to give y'all a better view, but the pink is the pataya and the acai is in there as well. It's half and half. Um, and Nutella is the chocolate stuff you see on top. I really, really, really like fruit bowls because it's so lightweight, high in fiber, and it's filling at the same time. is good I'll like this week these this next couple weeks because I did terrible over the holidays as far as my eating and I can see the see and feel the bloating and swelling in my abdomen area so 
soups will be a part of my you know menu I'll definitely be having a side bowls things like that when I eat out or salads or something like shrimp salads interesting stuff but still like not super heavy calorie dense things I got home about an hour ago. Ooh, I got home like an hour and a half ago. Got home an hour and a half ago, took the dogs down, brought everything up, and I am about to meal prep. This is definitely the first time in quite a while that I will be meal prepping before the sun goes down. And I'm super excited about that because I'm really working on being more focused this year, being more disciplined this year, and staying on track with time. Like, I'm a big planner. Um, like, today's Sunday, so I do sit down. After I meal prep, I'll have time to plan out my week, plan out my content. Like, what, what I did a lot last year, I had good execution, but it, it, was, it was a lot of moments that I planned, but I didn't execute how I should have. Like I write down, when I plan my week, I write down the times of things. If you give yourself 20 hours to do something, it'll take you 20 hours to do it. If you give yourself two hours to do something and you're, you know, you stick to it, you'll get it done in two hours. So I got me some flowers. I love to, if somebody doesn't get me flowers, I like to have a fresh thing of flowers. It should, it looks nice. It just looks nice. It makes me happy. When I walk out and see it, I smile. And I have learned to do things around the house, do things for myself that make me smile. Like your environment is a big part of your productivity. And because I work from home, like that's why my, you know, I, I, I love this apartment. Is it pricey? Yeah, but I'm gonna do what I need to do to stay in it. It, it motivates me. I wake up and feel like a boss bitch. So I wanna do boss bitch shit so I can stay in my boss bitch apartment. So I'm heavy on what my environment looks like. So I'm about to put these uh, flowers up. I got this six wick candle from Home Goods. I'm so excited because I think it's just gonna look so good on my coffee table. I am going to set up my flowers and I'm gonna go ahead and meal prep. Of course, I have the menu and everything, so I will let you guys know what we're eating. So why am I selling a four week meal plan when I just meal prep my videos and you can use the menu from my videos? One, my meal plan has different meals each week. Like, I, I, to my knowledge, you don't repeat. And I make sure, I'm gonna give you a meal plan, I'm gonna make sure nothing repeats in that meal plan. Also, when I do my meal prep videos, sometimes if I have a large thing of kale and it just doesn't run out in that week and it's still fresh to make it to the next week, I'm gonna make another kale recipe. Or if something was just super, super good and I wanna make it again, and it was easy, I'll make it again. So sometimes I will have the same thing in my meal prep videos, especially my snacks, like those protein bars, I eat them just about every week. But on the meal plan, the four week meal plan, you have so many more options of snacks and dinners and lunches and breakfast. And I'm working on a volume two, actually. Um, just try to be, you know, I like to give you guys a variety because a variety is what helps me stay on track. I can't do grilled chicken, brown rice, and broccoli all the time. Who wants to eat that? So I am going to put my flowers in the vase and get into this meal prep and I'll see y'all after. is the menu for the week. It's going to be in the description for you in case you cannot see it on the screen. 
starting with breakfast number one, spelt pancakes, chicken sausage, and eggs. I do not eat box pancakes. I really don't eat box a lot of things, um, and I don't have all-purpose flour in the house. I only have coconut flour, arrowroot flour, spelt flour, and um, oat flour. These spelt pancakes are honestly way better than any box pancake I've ever had. And then I'll make enough, you know, for future days, store it in a mason jar, and I will top my pancakes with pecans, cinnamon, pure maple syrup, warm it up, and I love, love, love this meal. It's one of my favorites. Second breakfast option is going to be oatmeal. Now, I usually top my oatmeal with fruit, but this time I mixed it in. I only eat old-fashioned oatmeal. I don't eat oatmeal out of a package, too many preservatives, and I'll sweeten it with pure maple syrup, sometimes brown sugar, not all the time. Spice it with cinnamon and nutmeg, and then I will top it once it's finished with blueberries and sliced almonds. And it's a really, really hearty breakfast, great carb energy, and sometimes I'll put protein powder if I need extra protein. Moving on to lunch option number one. This is another favorite of mine. I had a lot of favorites this week, but it's a sweet potato, stuffed sweet potato with ground turkey, spinach, avocado, and topped with a um, avocado ranch dressing. Um, I do weigh my turkey both before, I weigh all of my meats before and after freezing just to make sure I'm having the right amount. And um, I will go ahead and pack the bowl. So I'll put the spinach on, I'll put the ground turkey on and I will refrigerate it like that. So I'll just take it out when it's time to eat, warm it up. And then um, I will then top it with the avocado. I also like to put green onions, fresh green onions on top and uh, the avocado ranch or you could do cilantro ranch as well and y'all this is mm, sweet potatoes are good avocados everything about this bowl is amazing second option this week i actually incorporated some vegan stuff this week um a quinoa black bean burger um i recently watched that netflix documentary so we're, we're gonna we're gonna be adding in some vegan options quinoa black beans um, I mushed up some of the black beans. I add some panko breadcrumbs, season it up, hot sauce, all that good stuff. And I will go ahead and put that on the pan. It stayed together for the most part. I, I think I did a pretty good job for my first time making these. Um, it was really, really good. And I made carrot fries. I'll go ahead and, you know, shred, you know, clean off the carrot with the skin, cut it up, toss some, um, toss it in some olive oil, seasoning, parsley, pop those babies in the oven, bake them. And this is a really good low carb option. Now I do, whenever I do hamburger buns, if I'm not doing like a lettuce wrap, I will use thin buns. I like to use protein buns, but they didn't have any at the store. Now see this spinach I had from the um, bowl. I like to, I didn't get lettuce because I like to, I don't like to waste food. I like to use what I have and spinach is good for you anyway. And I put pepper jack cheese on top add some avocado for healthy fat and i made this yogurt sauce that y'all will see later in the video to dip my fries in this was really good if you're looking for a healthy snack option i, I, I had this in my other video these are it's greek yogurt but it's only 160 calories each bar and it is so good if you like crunch bars you'll like this and they have all different kinds this particular brand now for dinner option number one, I'm just gonna say vegan inspired from now on, just in case I use animal products and y'all don't chew me out. But this is a vegan inspired coconut lentil soup. Now beans, I have tons of beans, great protein source. And I, I really wanna try to make vegan-like meals, but have enough protein. Cause that's my fear with vegan meals is just not incorporating enough protein. This was really, really good. And I topped it with some oyster crackers. Now, the key for me of staying healthy is to take my food with me. Like tonight I had rehearsal, so I packed it with me and I'm gonna heat it up at a gas station if I need to so that I don't eat out, spend money and eat terrible cooked food. Second option, I did a codfish with a uh, brussel and kale salad. I try not to do too many carbs at night because I just don't like how it sits on my stomach. So I did the, the codfish, baked it in the oven, and then when I heat it up, I'll either heat it up in the microwave or pop it in the air fryer if that's the mood I'm in. For the kale salad, I made this Dijon lemon mustard sauce thing. Um, cut up some kale, cut up some Brussels sprouts really thin, 
and tossed it all together and added some sliced almonds. Now I did roast the sliced almonds a little bit on the stove just to give it a bit more of a nuttier flavor for the salad. And this was a really, really good meal. I enjoyed it very, very much. And I don't know if it's because I film a lot of things now, but plate presentation, my food just be looking so good. Like, mm. Now, here we are onto the snacks. First snack option, I made another vegan inspired meal. I think I had eggs in this, so I know it doesn't count as vegan. Vegan inspired. I made some Parmesan zucchini fries. Oh yeah, there's cheese too. This was really good, oh my gosh. And with the Parmesan zucchini fries, so I baked them first and then to reheat, I used the air fryer, but the dip sauce. So I use Greek yogurt. Instead of sour cream, I always use Greek yogurt. So I did this lemon Greek yogurt green onion dip sauce and I used it for both my carrot fries and my zucchini fries. This was like chef's kiss, okay? And I added some garlic powder in there to give you that uh, sour creamy taste. That was super, super good. I really, really enjoyed this meal and I will definitely make this again in the future. My second uh, snack option this week, I do pears. I do, the oh shit. Well, pears are coming up. These are celery, celery and hummus. Hummus is a good protein source. I really try to incorporate protein in all of my snacks and do something low carb that's not going to sit on my abdomen. Now here are the pears. I eat this every week. Peanuts, honey, dried cranberries, love it to death. It is a great midnight or late night snack. It's super sweet, but still healthy at the same time. And my fourth option is Greek yogurt parfait. Like I said, I eat berries every single week. I make sure to always have Greek yogurt in the fridge, always have berries in the fridge, and make sure you get a good granola that is not fattening and unhealthy for you, because y'all know how these things be. And finally, some quick tips. I clean as I go to kind of eliminate what I have to do at the end of my meal prep. Also, avocados, guys. When your avocados start to get soft and look like this, pop them in the fridge and they will last you for weeks, I promise. Finished. It is 8.30. I finished about an hour ago, but I had to clean, um, wash dishes, put everything away. And I feel so good because it's 8.30. I have to be in bed by at least 10 o'clock to wake up at five. So I feel really, really good. I feel really, really accomplished. I feel like I'm starting my week off so well. So now um, the babies have eaten. I'm about to plan my week. So Sundays for me are really literally preparing for the week from food to what I have to do content-wise, business-wise, life-wise, like, I sit and I will plan meticulously time and everything Monday through Friday. I like to give myself breathing room for Saturday and Sunday because we are human. But I'm so excited because I have this planner. I found it on Amazon. It's for 2024 and 2025. Missy, no, no, fuck! My sister's dog came over here and peed on my balcony. Now my dog thinks that she could pee on the balcony. And she was not peeing on the balcony before because the balcony was not a peeing area. <sighs> now I have to change up my balcony and it's actually annoying. Back to my happy mood. It's the boy. See, these dogs we have me on edge. Like I was saying, I'm so excited about my planner. I started using a planner I think about three years ago. And for me personally, if I don't write something down, I'm forgetting. If it's a birthday, if it's a task I need to do, no matter what, if it's an idea I think of, if I don't write it in that moment, it will be lost forever. So ever since I got a planner, I keep the planner with me. And even like the smallest idea, there's, you know, most of them have note sections in the back. I'll write in the note section. But no, this specifically, it's so detailed guys and like it's 2024 and 2025 it even has stickers and yeah i'm just so i'll write like all of my like because i usually know what i have to do for the month and then it gives you not only does it give you a you know an overview of the month you also have your days so like i'll write down so right now i'm gonna go sit down and plan out 
this whole next week. And just for me personally, planning has been a pivotal part of the success that I've seen with myself over the last year or so. Um, the consistency, the discipline, like... No, you don't get to bark, because you pee. Go sit down. Now, yeah, having a routine has just really like... Manifesting and having a routine and being disciplined is like the creme de la creme of building your dream life. Like I'm literally to this day actively building my dream life. And honestly, it's because I plan, it's because I have intention, it's because of goals. So super, super excited. I am looking forward to this beautiful week. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I will see y'all on the next video. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Good night. I swear it's time to keep these feelings to myself